Grade Three Mathematics, Lesson Three, Money, Part One. Okay, students. Let's see what are we going to learn today. Today you are going to learn about the coins and notes used in Sri Lanka, their features, and how to use them in day-to-day -day transactions. Are you ready? Let's go. So, do you know what is a coin? Yes, a coin is a small flat round piece of metal used primarily as a medium of exchange they are standardized in weight and are issued by the government coins often have images numerals or text on them all right children what is this coin yes it is the one rupee coin. As you can see on the head's side, you will see the national emblem. And on the tail's side, you will see the value of the coin. Okay, now what is this coin? Yes, it is the two rupee coin. As you can see, on the head side, it is the national emblem and on the tails side, it is the value of the coin. Can you tell me what this coin is? Yes, it is the 5 rupee coin. Same as the other coins, you will see the national emblem on the head side of the coin. And on the tail side, you will see the value of the coin both in numerals as well as in text. And finally, what is this coin? Yes, it is the 10 rupee coin. As you can see, it has a very interesting design. On the head side of the coin, you will see the national emblem. And on the tail side, you will see the value. Alright students, shall we do a fun activity? First, ask for a few coins from your parents. Next, find a white A4 sheet and four color pencils of your choice. Then, trace the coins onto the A4 sheet using the color pencils as shown below. And finally, cut them off. Did you have fun doing the activity? I hope you do. Now it's time to do some exercises. Exercise 1. Using different coins represent the following given amounts. An example is done for you. As you can see, I have represented the 2 rupee coin using 2 1 rupee coins. So students, you have to represent the 5 rupee coin in 2 ways and 10 rupee coin in 3 ways. Did you do the exercise? Shall we check the answers? Okay, these are the possible answers that you can get. There can be some optional answers as well. So please check it with your parents. If you did it well, great job! Let's move on to the second exercise.
Exercise 2. Represent the given values of the following items by using the traced coins. The first item is a sharpener. It is 6 rupees. The second item is a pencil. It is 10 rupees. The third item is an eraser. It is 5 rupees. And the last item is a pair of scissors and it is 15 rupees. So let's get started. Are you ready to check the answers? Shall we start then? Okay, the first item, a sharpener, which is 6 rupees, you can represent it either using a 5 rupee coin and a 1 rupee coin or using 3 2 rupee coins. The second item, a pencil, which is 10 rupees, you can represent it either using a 10 rupee coin or using two 5 rupee coins. The third item, an eraser, which is 5 rupees, you can either represent it using a 5 rupee coin or using two 2 rupee coins and a rupee. And finally, the last item, a pair of scissors, which is 15 rupees, you can represent it either using a 10 rupee coin and a 5 rupee coin or using 3 5 rupee coins. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done! Okay students, do you know what is a note? A note, also known as paper money, is issued by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka. The printed money is more useful than coins since it is easy to carry and pay large monetary values. Okay children, now can you tell me what note is this? Yes, it is the 20 rupee note. As you can see, the color of the 20 rupee note is pink and the value is 20. And at the center of the front side of the note, you will see a drawing of the port of Colombo as seen now and in history. The bird that appears on the right hand side of the note is known as Sri Lanka Serendip Scoop Sow. The butterfly that appears on the lower left corner is known as the baronet. And the back side of the note in the centre you will see a traditional Vesnatuma dancer dancing to the tune of the Gatabera drummer next to him. The Punkalasa or the pot of plenty which is a symbol of prosperity is on the top right of the note. A Leavala or the stylized floral motif appears on the right side of the note. Now children, tell me what this note is? Yes, it is the 50 rupee note. As you can see, it has a nice blue color and the value of the note is 50 rupees and on the front side of the note you will see the newly constructed bridge in Manampitiya. The formerly used bridge over which both trains and other vehicles ran appears to the left of the new bridge. Above both is the faint visualization of a historical railway arch bridge. The bird that appears on the right side of the note is known as Sri Lankan Dull Blue Flycatcher. 
The butterfly that appears on the left is known as the blue oak leaf. And at the back of the note, you will see a Vadiga Patuna dancer is dancing to the tune of the Yakbera drummer playing his Yakbera drum to the left of the dancer. The guard stone of the Punkalasa or the pot of plenty which is a symbol of prosperity is on the top right of the note. A Leavala or the stylized floral motif appears on the right side of the note. Children, can you guess what this note is? Yes, it is the 100 rupee note. As you can see, the color of the 100 rupee note is orange. And the value is 100 rupees. On the front side of the note, in the center, you will see the Norochole Coal Power Plant Project. And above that picture, you will see the Lakshapana waterfall with the cables that transmit the hydropower generated by the waterfall. The bird that appears on the right hand side of the note is known as Sri Lankan orange billed babbler. And the butterfly that appears on the left side of the note is known as the autumn leaf. And in the back of the note, you will see a Mridangam drummer is seated and playing his drum. To his right is a Bharatanatyam dancer. The Naga or seven headed cobra guard stone is at the top right corner of the note. The double floral design called the Dvitva Liavala appears on the right side of the note. Okay children, now this is the last note you are going to learn today. Can you tell me what this note is? Yes, it is the 500 rupee note. As you can see, the color of the 500 rupee note is purple and the value is 500. In the front of the note at the center, you will see the World Trade Center Twin Towers and the Bank of Ceylon Head Office Building which is situated in Colombo. And to the right side of that image, you will see the ancient Buddhist temple known as Lankatilaka Viharaya in Kandy. The bird that appears on the right hand side of the note is the Sri Lankan emerald collared parakeet. And the butterfly which appears in the left hand side is known as the Ceylon Indigo Royal. At the back of the note, you will see a Thelme Natuma dancer with a Yakbera drummer to his left. The Padmanidhi guard stone is to the top right side of the note. The double floral design known as the Dvitva Liavala appears from top to bottom of the note. I hope you learn a lot about the notes. Okay students, let's do an activity. Represent the prices of the following fruits by using notes. The first item is a papo, which is 60 rupees. The second item is an apple, which is 50 rupees. The third item is a mango, which is 70 rupees. And the last item is a pineapple, 
which is 100 rupees. So let's get started. Shall we check the answers? The first item, Papo, which is 60 rupees, you can represent it using three 20 rupee notes. The second item, an apple, which is 50 rupees, you can represent it using a 50 rupee note. The third item, Mango, which is 70 rupees, you can represent it using a 50 rupee note and a 20 rupee note. And the last item, pineapple, which is 100 rupees, you can either represent it using a 100 rupee note or two 50 rupee notes. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done! Great job! Alright students, now we have come to the end of our lesson. Today you learned a lot about the coins and notes used in our country and how to use them to represent the values of different items. So let's call it a day. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Until we meet again, be safe, be healthy and most importantly, be happy. Have a nice day.